Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing our watch of Columbo season one, episode four, suitable for framing. So last week we finished watching season one, episode three, Dead Weight. Um, like I told you guys in my reaction video, not my favorite episode, still enjoyed it, thought it was a fun watch, but I just didn't find it as memorable as other Columbo episodes. Like there was nothing really that jumped out at me about it, but I still had fun watching it nonetheless. Okay, so Columbo season one, episode four, suitable for framing. It released November 16th, 1971. And the description is, an art critic's dreams of inheriting his uncle's wealth are shattered when he hears the details of his will. The guest star is Ross Martin for this episode as our killer. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm never gonna get tired of those title cards. What is he wearing? No. That outfit is the real crime. <laughs> wow, he wasted no time. Within the first 20 seconds of the episode, he committed the crime. That's a rarity. That's super rare for a Columbo episode to open and then you see the crime committed immediately. Usually it takes them about 20 minutes before the crime is committed. Columbo usually doesn't enter the scene anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes into the episode. I really like the added touch of the artwork watching him commit the crime. The, the zoom in on the eyes, I mean. That's a really nice touch, like that. That's a really good touch. I love how much effort the killers put into the crime only to be caught at the end. It's so satisfying. <laughs> Degas. <laughs> Hello, I'm here to assist in the murder. <laughs> Anybody see you? No. And I parked where you told me. Good. Take that. Get yourself together. There's no reason to be frightened. It's just my uncle. <laughs> I assure you, he's far more amiable now than he ever was when he was alive. Don't worry, Dale. I, I was just a little upset. How did he sucker her into now this? I'm fine. Good. I remember when you opened the window, fire high. That was the longest pause before he kissed her. That was so weird, dude. Oh, I really like what they're doing with the paintings here, having them be the, the hypothetical witnesses. That's some really cool filmmaking right there. All right, Melvin. What the heck was that? 5,000 and it's a steal. Would you please move faster? Oh, and what is she wearing? <laughs> One thousand dollars, and you're not even a Frenchman. Mingle, mingle. You say, Dale Kingston, I don't believe it. Invitation said free champagne. Oh. Until to my lap. Oh, you're such a snob. You never come to my. Oh, show this jerk. He's creating his perfect quick. alibi. Honey, this is Dale Kingston. Wow, there are a yeah, lot of crazy yeah. outfits in this one scene. Oh, be <laughs> Just between the four of those people. <laughs> Well, they're not too bad, not too bad at all. Uh, well, uh, I have five minutes to eleven, sir. Five to eleven. Yes. Yes, so it is. Thank you very much, oh, Mr. This uh, jerk, he is. He's Frank. trying to create his perfect oh, of course you alibi. Oh, you bet. Sam, the Wow, great security, dude. I'd move faster, lady. She's moving way too chill for my anxiety. <laughs> The 
I think uh, the artist. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> still BSing. <laughs> also, what are these outfits, guys? <laughs> Oh my goodness, we haven't even talked about her outfit. I don't know what the heck's going on with that. You notice no matter how abstract the painter, he always signs his name realistically, doesn't he? Ha ha ha, so funny. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. Were you home tonight? Oh no, sir. My wife and I left the house at eight o'clock. It's our regular night off. You got all this, Columbo? You want anything more from Mr. Evans? No. Yeah. <laughs> Please, sir. Mr. Matthews was very fussy about smoking. <laughs> oh, sorry. It was a single bullet. Must have died almost instantly. And the time of death? Oh, I'd say around 11, give or take a few minutes, wasn't it? I told him to hold everything Mr. for you. Kingston, Any... we've been waiting to dust some of these canvases for fingerprints. I suppose he's going to be your new boss, huh? Well, I would hope he keeps on, keeps the house. After all, he's Mr. Matthews' only living relative. Would you like to spend some time with your wife? I'm sure she's very upset. Thank you. I like that guy. Uh, Mr. Kingston. He's like Alfred from Batman. There, I wonder if maybe first you try to help me out with a problem that I have. Yes. Uh, this painting. Well, what's the problem? Haven't uh, you ever seen people without faces before? <laughs> They've loaned them up. You've heard of two-faced people, I suppose. You see, it's this crazy signature that bonds... De Groot. George De Groot. Quite famous. I thought so. Isn't that funny? Because I noticed the signatures on this other painting. Does that say Birnbaum? Man, it has been a while since I've seen these season one episodes Birnbaum. because I don't remember a lot I of this. These artists will be able to write more clearly been a terrible shock for you. I want to express my deepest sympathy. Thank you, Mr. Lieutenant Columbo. Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, tell me, Mr. Kingston, uh, has anybody... You're fucked, buddy. <laughs> Certainly. This place is a magnet for art. Thieves. It's one of the finest collections in the world. Well, I'll tell you what bothers me. You see, it's this. If you came in here to grab some paintings, wouldn't you grab a the brooch first instead of a beer and bomb? Perhaps, but then I'm an art critic. Uh, like in there, uh, there's two little frames, and they're empty, and there doesn't seem to be anything around that fits inside. Now, Mr. Revens wasn't quite sure either. He thought that one of them had some dancing girls, but I don't think he knows much about art either. These two are listed in the exhibit catalog. Got that in here somewhere. <clears throat> here, look. Those were the two that were taken? Yes. Hey, they're beautiful. They're two of my favorites. Degas. Degas pastels. Yep. Somebody picked a Berenbaum first. Then when your uncle interfered. Then when he went to his desk and took out a gun. Then when he was killed. In the middle of all that. Then the thief suddenly got smart. And he took two of the most valuable paintings in the house and he ran. Lieutenant Colombo? Oh, Sally. I see you to come. Let's go out back. I want to try something. Sally, are you ready? Whenever you are. Okay, when I holler inside, you run just the way I told you to run. Okay, here she goes! <laughs> Skip down the stairs. Well, that's it. That's what I heard. Uh, you heard high heels on those stone steps. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. You bet. You think the thief was a woman? One of them. One of them? Well, there were too many pictures there for one person to carry, don't you think? And besides the burglar alarm <laughs> thing, you know, there's only one way to really beat that is if you have somebody else from the inside... Open it's the so door. awesome how the killer thinks think they've I'm accounted sad. for everything, you know but Columbo's so on top why. of it. You give me your telephone number and I'll put a tap on your phone. You'll monitor all your calls. <laughs> you wouldn't mind that, would you? <laughs> you already know that he knows. He already knows. I love how you can pinpoint the exact moment Columbo's already figured it out. Hey, thank you very much. And then it's just a matter of how he gets yeah, them. Right. It's so great. That's right, Dale. You should be panicking. You and your stupid velvet suit. <laughs> I 
Man, these outfits are really something. They're a little bit more bold in comparison to other Columbo episodes. Oh, wait, now I remember. Doesn't she die? Doesn't he... Doesn't he kill her? Man, I have not seen this episode in a hot second. Look out! Gee, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. I've been bumping into things myself today. A little bit too much of the grape last night. I didn't clear out of here till 3 a.m. Mr. Kingston went home a little earlier than that, I guess. Well, he stayed long enough to make every other gallery owner on the street green with envy. Sam, uh, this is the policeman who phoned. Is it all right? Bring him in. They interrupted Rembrandt. Why shouldn't they interrupt me? <laughs> yeah, what is it? Uh, if I'm interrupting something... No, you're not interrupting anything. Uh, forgive the mood, but uh, you caught me in a bad day. <laughs> Chris. Hi. Hello. Are you an artist? No. I can come back another time. I think Look, go ahead there. and interrupt. <laughs> not, <a stranger. laughs> no, not routine. <laughs> if you're interested in finding out about Mr. Kingston, what time he got here, I don't know. Might help if you try to remember. There was something wrong with his watch. Yeah, that's it. And uh, and he asked me what time it was. That's it. <laughs> I see. Well, thanks. Sorry to bother you. No bother. <laughs> right. I'm in my commercial phase right now. Yeah. Sam's just mad at the whole world, that's all. That's because I made him put her in his pretty pink cactus. Well, Mr. I'll let you finish your work. Excuse me. You'll come back soon. Stop moving! All right. <sighs> hey, Joe. I love you know how flustered he got like every that. time he met the model's gaze. Sure, it's I like he forgot that he she was, was a nude model, and he's like, oh. No, he lost a cup like that. He's so cute. What time was that? Would you know? I oh, love sure, he asked me how that. embarrassed he Something got. Something was wrong with his watch, I guess. Uh, it was five minutes to eleven, sir. Thanks. <laughs> I just I love how he's like, <laughs> like, look away, look away. Sure. Mm-hmm. It's all about. Hey, would you look at that? A blue horse. <laughs> Painting the ladies and gentlemen of the Spanish court. <laughs> Savage brush, relentlessly unremitting. Hey, would you look at that? Detail, a blue horse. The tiniest wart. When you take the W off of wart, you are still left with art. And Goya was the penultimate artist. Wow, iconic. We continue our discussion of legendary artist. When you take the W off of wart, you get art. This guy's so smug. This is Dale He's... Kingston. You know what he's kind of giving? Be with us again tomorrow, he's giving, um, like, King Frasier King and Niles vibes. Those are the vibes that he's g Can you guys imagine if Kelsey Grammer or David Hyde Pierce <laughs> was, like, a Columbo killer? It'd have to be, like, the later seasons of Columbo, because obviously, like, they weren't around for this original run. Or they were probably, like, super young children at the time. But, oh my god, can you imagine... If Kelsey Grammer or David Hyde Pierce was a Columbo yeah, killer, that would be the most hilarious him. thing. Dude, now I really want this. Now I really want Kelsey Grammer as a Columbo killer. As like the snobby art critic. Oh my god, dude, that would be so iconic. What are you doing, Colleen? I told you not to call for a whole week. Well, I know, but I was worried. Now relax. Everything's going just... I'm terribly sorry. No, I, I simply don't have time. I wish you wouldn't hang up like that, Mr. Kingston. I mean, somebody you don't know tries but to call Lieutenant, you to... I get a dozen calls a day just like that from would-be artists, from ladies who want to evaluate some stupid little print their maiden aunts left them in their attic. If I paid attention to every you mean one of them... that was a woman? Yes, and it wasn't any <laughs> ransom call, if that's what you're thinking, Jeff. Well, I was hoping that we could have a little time to talk. No, I'm going to take my makeup off anyway. <laughs> we'll do it now. Follow me. Fine. Thank you very much. I'm sorry to bother you here, but you haven't been home much. Tap on your phone, it's not helping us any. Hmm. Well, I'm not your only possibility, Lieutenant. I don't know whether you know this, but my uncle was married once. In fact, uh, his ex-wife still lists herself in the telephone book under her married name, so you see, whoever took those paintings could very well be trying to contact her. Now, I saw Mrs. Matthews this morning. We're watching her phone, too. <laughs> oh, that must have been some interview. Aunt Edna can be a bit trying. Uh, I thought she was kind of nice. Oh, she's very nice, but uh, trying. You said you had some questions you wanted to ask me? Well, you know, the lab says that there was just no way for that lock to be forced from the outside. 
Well, how did anyone get in? You see, Evans is positive that all the doors were locked when he left the house earlier. And I don't see your uncle letting anyone in. Unless he knew him. Did you come all this way just to tell me that? You know that gallery you went to? Checked out. Hope you don't mind. Oh, that's your job. Oh, uh, the parking lot boy, he remembered when you got there all right. So that if Mr. Matthews was killed at 11 o'clock, then you sure didn't do it. <laughs> and here I am, your best and most obvious suspect, too. Oh, don't say things like that, really. You got me all wrong. Oh, yeah. It's just that I get bugged by those little things. Do you know that there is a reasonable explanation for everything if you just put your mind to it? Like with alibis. Do you know, in most cases, people, they don't remember what time it is. They forget all that. <laughs> like the artist fella. He's all mixed up about the time. Being this is such a niche help, detail, I but I love it so now, much. I love that he's aware of these things about the people. Very unusual. With you, we know exactly where you were and when. Not only that, we know your whole car was empty. Yes, isn't that nice? <laughs> Columbo is so seconds. pleased with himself. Uh, He's like, oh, I got this in the know, bag. I know. And my father-in-law, he loves Western movies, so I figured you bucks can't get hurt. Uh, what do you think? Any good? Oh. A wallpaper in a child's room? Absolutely perfect. In fact, looks like it might have been done by an untalented 12-year-old. Jeez, dude. You know, I was kind of afraid you were going to say something like that. Why would you bother to go there last night if this guy's stuff is so bad? Lieutenant Colombo, unlike my uncle, I am not independently wealthy. I have to work for a living. Oh, listen, one more thing. Oh. It, it just, it'll just take a second. I stopped by your apartment a few times. Why, do you want to search my place? Just to ask you something about art. You said you had some books and things there that I could see. You may look at anything you wish. I love this! You can snoop in all of my closets. You can peek under the beds. You won't find any stolen paintings. Oh, Here, would you like the key to my apartment? You may simply leave it under the mat when you leave. Find out what kind of human being I am. Learn everything you can about me. Well, I, I mean, I admit it would be more convenient, but uh, thank you very much, Mr. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I took up so much of your time. I might drop by and borrow one. He is that. so great. Oh, no. Well, okay. <laughs> oh, Columbo's so pleased with himself. I love it. Also, the longer I look at this guy, the more I project Kelsey Grammer onto him. Like, if Kelsey Grammer was ever going to be in a Columbo episode, he would be a snobby art critic. Well, I just couldn't Yeah, doesn't he kill her, if I remember this correctly? Nothing's happening. No problems at all. Everything's just perfect. But they're beautiful. And why can't I paint like that? Patience, my dear, patience. It takes time to get what you really want. Yeah, he kills her. I'm like 99% sure. When will I see you again? Very shortly, my love. When will I? Yep. <laughs> Columbo. What are you doing here at this hour of the night? Is it night? Yes, it is. Gee, I... Uh, I must have fallen asleep here. I came here to read these books. Did you get your key? I left your key under the mat. Oh, good, you got it. So I must have fallen I'm terribly sorry. I just fell asleep Look, here. If you'll excuse me. Oh, of course. I'll get out of your hair. I'm, I'm awfully sorry about this. Did you pick up something interesting? Insipid watercolors these people want me to evaluate. That's watercolors? All. Yes. I was just looking at watercolors. Matisse? Wonderful. I'd love to hear what you had to say about them. Could we take just a no, moment? No, Lieutenant, I... Lieutenant, please. If you don't mind, I... Oh. It's quite late. I'm, I'm quite exhausted. Some other time, please. Oh, I'm sorry, of course. I should have realized. Oh. You know, I just got so caught My up phone. in this art. My phone. Oh. It uh, just might be <laughs> people about the ransom. By all means. <laughs> Hello? Yes, he is. Just a moment. It's for you. I told him at the office that I might stop by. Thank you very much. Right. Yeah. What? Well, where was it? Yes, I understand, but why are you calling me for? <laughs> oh. Listen, I'm sorry. I gotta run. Uh, you know, this highway patrolman, he found a girl in a car. Ran over a cliff in Malibu Canyon. 
I'm sorry. I I didn't mean to fall asleep here. I hope I didn't trouble you too much. Sir. Get some rest. Oh my god. He gets more and more adorable with each episode. Mrs. Matthews. Oh, Lieutenant Colombo. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Listen, Mr. Kingston and the attorney said it was all right if I dropped by. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no, of course not. Have a way of it's making... like an old movie with all the barristers and the butlers and the discarded wives all gathering together in the library to hear the will read. But how anyone could want to kill me. Oh, she's delightful. Oh, hello, Dave. Edna, darling. Hello, Lieutenant. Yes. Well, what have you got there this time? A pink rabbit? Oh, this? No, no, not really. But it is something that I wanted to show you. Oh, show me, Edna, too. my dear. Frank. Dale and Lieutenant Colombo. What do you think? Oof. It's frightful. That's what I figured. Oh, but that's you know her what? painting. I maybe you just might recognize the style or the signature. No, who on earth is Tracy? You see, the dead girl, she was some kind of an art student. And I thought, well, who knows, maybe you knew something about her. Lieutenant, there must be over a hundred thousand art students in Southern California. I remember seeing one of those lecture schedules in your apartment, and a couple of months ago, you gave several lectures in the school where this girl was enrolled. This is what she looks like. I've never seen that girl before in my life. Why don't you stop wasting everybody's time? We've uh, skimmed over the preliminaries. We're now down to the salient points. Proceed as you wish, Counselor. Hmm. <laughs> Colombo, very year, carefully placing it on the table. And Mrs. Evans jointly an annual payment of two thousand dollars. Oh, wow, two thousand dollars! To uh, to my primary heir of all previous wills, to Edna Matthews, the wife whom I mistakenly divorced fifteen years ago. I bequeath my entire art collection, oh. including all of those paintings listed in the so-called Matthews collection. This will is properly signed and witnessed as of the tenth of last month. Here I. Uh, I think That's throwing Columbo off. I I'm really sorry. Oh no! Don't be silly, Aunt Edna. All it means is that I'll now be able to criticize your collection like I used to criticize his. You always intended to leave that collection to Dale, then give it to her. That's why I thought you'd like to be here. So that was a new will only last month? That's correct. He wrote most of it himself. Boy, I can't figure it. I... You'd think the nephew would get the paintings. I agree, I agree. Mr. Matthews had disagreements with Dale, but an art collection like that is his big business. God, I can smell that cigar smoke why? right now. Why, simply leave. <laughs> One thing, though. If Mr. Kingston doesn't get the collection, he at least gets the rest of the estate. It's meaningless. He rented that big house. Rudy disposed of all his business interests. There really isn't any remaining estate to speak of. Well, listen, uh, thanks for letting me come down. I gotta get back to work. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant, uh, you're painting. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, Lieutenant, my lighter. <laughs> Tiny okay, little man little pushing through the crowd. Expect to find me there kicking my tires and frustration, I suppose. Well, I thought there'd be the normal amount oh, of disappointment. You are so transparent, Columbo. Dale Kingston hired someone to fake the theft and kill his uncle. Mr. Kingston, I never said and that. And even I never... though I had an airtight alibi by total accident at the time of my uncle's murder, that still didn't stop you, did it? Mr. Kingston, really, I well, have my At idea. this point, I'm sure that even a compulsively suspicious bureaucrat like you must have his doubts about my guilt. Damn. You heard it in plain English. I do not inherit. Edna does. So that's very true, Mr. Kingston. That's very true. Maybe you didn't know that your uncle changed his will. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Because, you see, I've known for more than 10 days that I couldn't possibly inherit any part of that collection. Since you won't believe me, maybe you'll believe He's my He's the uncle. definition of grinning through frustration. Go on. He sent me that letter 10 days ago telling me about the new will. Look at the postmark. So you did know? Of course I knew. Find the real killer. This is so interesting because earlier, like, Columbo comes off very self-assured, and now here you can see his doubts. Makes for such a good interaction. 
some landlords like to pry into the oh, lives it's, of their um, tenants, but not me. My policy is um, live and let Crap. Me. What is her name? It's the lady from White well, Christmas, the 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 gossipy landlord from White Christmas. It's um, what is her name? Well, who goes out with who and who's doing what? All those things. She dated, didn't she? Oh, of course she dated. Oh, you know that was a terrible shame about that accident. That was a very talented girl. Very. Well, you ought to Dude, know. she plays the exact same role here. in everything that I've seen her in. Darn right, Walter, come here. Come here, boy. Come hey, I don't, 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 don't do that. <laughs> Why not? Well, Walter doesn't like strangers. He'll bite. Oh, will he? Hmm. She's in the there same an character. Fellow. She's the gossipy uh, landlord who time. shoves her nose into everything. And there was a kid that played you the... You want me to tell you the truth? Yeah. I'm interested in one guy in particular. Who? 40 years old, well-dressed, distinguished. Yikes, Dale is wait 40? A no, wait a minute. Come to think of it, there 40 was one old 40 years old looks way different back then than it does today. What a picture help. A picture? Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. You have a picture of this fellow? Yeah, it's around here someplace. If I haven't thrown it away, it's probably in my album. It's one of these. Well, let's see. Here was one. That's when my cousins were out here from Milwaukee. We stopped at one of those roadside stands, you know, for date malls. Oh, I got so sick. But they're awful good. Have you ever had one? I think you'd like them. That's my cousin's kid. She's uh, named for me. Look at her. She's a drama Chinese. She's trying to fit her feet into the, you know, the things in the concrete. That's awful cute. I made her that dress. <laughs> well, let's see now. Here's a whole bunch of us that went out to the family plot and had a picnic. We did some... Weeding and planning, we had the best time. We're like, look, isn't that cute? His I'm reactions are perfect. perfect. Oh, that's a nice one, too. Look at that. That was taken at the zoo. Isn't that a good one of a line? There you go. There. Now, oh, there he is. That's not him. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys still guarding this place? I Just love me. little it's scenes like that. There is no so, yeah. reason to put them in the episode, but it's... they make. Columbo that much more yeah, relatable, especially in his interactions with other people. His interactions with other people make this show for me. It's like one of the best aspects. Ugh, oh, it's so lovely. Oh, that actress's name. What is that actress's name? Look at this. You mean to tell me that they didn't already search the garden? Okay. Your ex-husband lived right up there, didn't he? Oh, yes, right up there on the hill. And maybe I don't throw things or like parties and handsome Italians quite so much. Uh, Ma'am, I know you're in a hurry. You want to go shopping. But I wondered first if we could talk about... Uh... But you want to know about that will thing. Of course, I, I, I don't blame you. Uh, but Dude, she's so don't... good. I love her. What, who is that actress? Uh, Rudy and I weren't uh, starting to sing September songs or anything like that. But... Years ago, I used to think I was artistic, and I literally dragged him into his first museum. And that's how his whole collection all began. Columbo sitting in that because chair, he looks so cute. Naturally, Rudy started sensing a, a good investment area. But it was my understanding that uh, it was his nephew who picked out all his paintings. Oh, yes, later on. But Dale was just in college then. And then, of course, after our divorce, the collection became an obsession with Rudy. And a whole career for Dale. So since you were in at the beginning, Mr. Matthews last month decided to leave the whole collection to you? But he didn't want me to keep them. Well. Oh, dear, I guess nobody's going to understand. Uh, uh, no. She is see, really good. Oh, Rudy was Who is this? finally tired of it, that's all. He finally agreed with me that the people should own those lovely things instead of just collectors. Kim Hunter. Schools, museums. Edna Matthews is oh. played by Kim Hunter. Oh, dear. I don't know so her. Much time to work she is that quite good. Oh. She's so good. I. She's really, really good. Hello, Aunt Edna. May I come in? How are you, dear? Oh, I didn't think you would even remembered where I live. Oh, what's this all about? Is it about the gun? What? About a half hour ago, a gardener up on that hill there, he found a thirty-eight revolver. And it's the same kind as the one that was missing from your uncle's desk. Right up above my house. Well, I, I've walked on that hill myself. Ballistics. Is this Charlie? <laughs> Lieutenant Colombo. Charlie, I sent that stuff over there over a half hour ago. Oh, thank you. 
<laughs> was that even a real well, phone conversation? Well, I even walked over to see Rudy just the night before he was killed. And Edna, I don't think you ought to say another word. The lieutenant may get the wrong idea. But surely no one would oh, think that. Oh, that jackass, right? he's that trying to blame there? his aunt. Oh, no, Mrs. Matthews. No, 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 no. Whoever was in that house that night, they ran out the back. They just kept on going. Well, naturally, they were anxious to get rid of your ex-husband's gun. You have nothing to worry about. Oh, she's so now, did innocent. You want to go shopping? Did he just ask her if she well, wanted to go shopping? <laughs> but I can do that some other time. No, I want you to go right ahead. And I want you to forget about all this. Wow. Dale is the world's crappiest nephew. What are nephew. you trying to do to her? Well, you know perfectly well that it was a woman that ran out of that place that night. You well, said so yourself. Yeah, sure, but not her. Oh, I hope you really mean that, Lieutenant, that you're not just playing some kind of a game with her. Mr. Kingston, you've got me all wrong, really. I wouldn't think of a thing like that. That lady wouldn't hurt a fly. Lieutenant, can you come around here for a minute? Rudy Matthews, 417 Pineville. Looks like that piece of wrapping paper that was torn from the rest of it in this house. Remember? We figured the thief used it. All right, you better get that down for fingerprinting in comparison with the other papers. Is there anything else? No, we've covered every inch of the grounds. Wow, Columbo's so confident that Dale did it, but he's no. also like... I don't know. Damn. I know what you're thinking. There's Luke. a lot of evidence to the contrary as Gun, well. and now this new evidence looks pretty bad for it. Yes, it does. Yes. I'm still Dale, you that suck. Had absolutely nothing to do with this. You know, I think I agree with you. Look at it this way. If she's really guilty, she's not going to put that paper in a garbage can, is she? I mean, she's probably going to burn it in a fireplace or something. And you know something else, Mr. Kingston? You're absolutely right about her. She's a, what did you call her before? Vulnerable. vulnerable. Yes. She's a vulnerable woman. And I'm afraid that if I press her too hard, she'll fall apart. Oh, yes. And I sure don't want to make the same mistake that I made with you. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to sit on everything until those stolen paintings show up. I see. <laughs> I mean, that's the best way to handle it, don't you think? Yes, yes, of course. I don't want to go around pointing my finger at anyone until I have an airtight case. Right? <laughs> right. Your man said that you'd, uh, you'd covered every, uh, every inch of the place here. Did that include the inside of the house? Well, she gave us permission, but I don't want to bother her. Don't you think you should? I mean, for her protection. Then when you fail to find the paintings, you can cross her name off the list entirely. Well, it hardly seems worth the trouble. Neither of us thinks she's guilty. Why bother? Well, for her sake, so she can be certain. Search the house, Lieutenant. Now, uh, really, I think it's a waste of time. But if anything new comes <laughs> up, I'll let you know. <laughs> That's right, Dale. <laughs> Screw off, Dale. Oh, man, I love Columbo's attitude yeah. towards him. She's in this episode. Harmless. You told me yourself the lieutenant doesn't think she's guilty. That's today, Frank. Who knows what he'll think tomorrow. He's dragging in his lawyer into noticed, this? He is a very haphazard individual. Get her in here. Talk to her like a Dutch uncle. Fill her in on the situation. Dale, you are the You're worst. You're sure we should allow her house to be searched? Absolutely. In fact, I think you ought to recommend that we insist on it. By insisting on her he's searching, he's just incriminating the, uh, himself. Oh, center. Dale, you are such an idiot. We'll clear it up today. Unfortunately, Lieutenant Columbo refuses to search the house. He claims it'd be a waste of time. I really wish there was something we could do about that man, Frank. I have a few friends at City Hall. Let me look into it. Don't try to outsmart right, Columbo, right. dude. Edna does have an excellent motive. You, uh, you don't think there's any chance? Of course not. Dale, you are the worst. You are the worst, and I can't wait for you to get caught. They do a really nice job in this show of attaching you not just to the killer, but like all the people associated with the killer and the people that Columbo interacts with. The show has, like, does a really remarkable job of that. Like, I feel bad for her! Oh, Dale. Not only was your suit a crime, but the sunglasses? Sweetheart. There's more than one crime going on here. It's the crime of your outfits. So what year is Dale's car? Good lord. But oh, what do you want them to search my house for? What will they find? Absolutely nothing. That's just the point. I'm sorry to have to put you through this now. But believe me, it'll all be over soon, huh? 
would anyone think that I'd want to kill Rudy? Nobody does. We just want to make sure that it stays that way, that's all. Oh, oh. excuse me. Let me just dry off. I'll be right back. Art. Aren't they gonna know that he moved the boxes? You jerk. Oh, no, he's putting... Okay, he's putting the paintings in the closet and he's gonna take the box back. You are such a jerk. Worst nephew ever. little car. Once again, the soundtrack is extremely notable. I wonder if it's the same guy who did uh, Sorry, you can't go Ransom ahead. for a Dead Man I'll and um, uh, do you mind? Murder by the Book. Okay, Ferguson, let him in. Wouldn't be surprising. Hi, Captain. Columbo. Oh, hi, Mr. King. Yeah, hello, Lieutenant. Listen, I just heard about this. You know, word came down from above to have the place searched. I, uh, is that so? Yeah. The fact is, uh, I was kind of bypassed when they came over here. Well, apparently you're just not needed here then, Lieutenant. Oh, no, I better hang around because, uh, you know, if I leave now, it looks bad upstairs, you know. Gee, I hope this is not upsetting you too much. Well, I'm not very happy about my house being torn apart. They advised me to do it. Who, they? Who was that? Mr. Kingston, I thought it was necessary, Lieutenant. You said you didn't suspect me of anything, didn't you? Yes, I did, ma'am, and I meant that. And actually, I was opposed to having Captain your house. I like those wide shots. Where'd you find those? Linen closet in the hallway. How could you? Dale, how Dale, could you? Believe me, I have no idea how they got there. <laughs> they both looked at him word. in unison. But Edna, do you intend to charge her formally, Captain? It's up to Lieutenant Colombo. It's his case. What do you mean it's his case? I thought it was... We know what you thought, Mr. Kingston. Lieutenant? Captain's got his lieutenant's Well, back. I think we can get started with the fingerprinting. Let's get the kit. Gee, there's something, aren't they? Pastels, you know. Lieutenant? Oh, Mr. Kingston. Uh, yes, just give us a moment, please. Do you mind? We're getting a few. Good. I'd like an answer, if you don't mind. I'd have to start with your uncle's will. What about it? Well, you see, he pulled the rug out from under you when he left his collection to Mrs. Matthews. So you uh, only had one thing that you could do. Murder him and blame it on her. I hope you realize the full import of what you're saying, Lieutenant. There are witnesses here. You see, under the law, anyone who criminally causes the death of someone else can't inherit from that person. Is that right, Mr. Simpson? That's correct. So if Mrs. Matthews is convicted, you're next in line. <laughs> Everything goes to you. And that's why you planted these paintings. Tail. I can't believe it. All right, Lieutenant. Wow. I claim that I planned He is the paintings. worst. Suppose you prove it. He's the actual worst. We... Yeah. Yeah. With fingerprints. Uh -huh. Sorry to disappoint you, Lieutenant. Fingerprints won't help you at all. My fingerprints are all over those paintings. They're covered with my prints. No, we're not looking for your prints. Oh, yeah. What? Do you remember the time that I was in your apartment and you came in with some paintings? They're looking, yes. Yeah. You, you wanted to evaluate them. And remember, I wanted to see them and you wouldn't let me. And I even touched them. You touched? Yes, my <laughs> fingerprints are on those paintings. Now, if Mrs. Matthews is guilty, how could my fingerprints get on paintings that she stole? <laughs> uh, this is entrapment. It's a setup, that's all. You, you, you touched those paintings just now while I wasn't looking. You saw him do it, didn't you? You put your prints on those paintings while you were bent over watching them when they were working on it. He touched them. <laughs> you touched, you. <laughs> Suck it, Dale. Suck it, Dale. Suck it, Dale. Suck it, Dale. <laughs> Suck it, Dale. Definitely did not remember that 
Columbo's fingerprints was like the big reveal of that episode, but it hit me halfway through at the end. He goes, when you remember it, I'm like, oh yeah, he touched it. He touched the painting. That was so satisfying. Wow, what an ending. I forgot about that. Such a good ending. Okay, brief thoughts before we jump into shooting Columbo. Dale Kingston is an awesome killer. I really, really like him as a killer. I think Ross Martin crushed it. I mean, he's the worst nephew on the entire planet, but I think he's very, very likable. I cannot shake the the Frasier and Niles vibes that I get from him, but if if Kelsey Grammer or David Hyde Pierce was ever going to be a killer on Columbo, that is the kind of killer that they would play. And I could not shake those vibes from the episode. Like, I was just like, as I was watching him, like, I could see Kelsey Grammer being such a good Columbo bad guy. And if he was going to be a bad guy, that is exactly the kind of person he would be. He would be the art critic who murders his uncle for the art collection. So I thought that was great, but it just really made me want to see Kelsey Grammer and David Hyde Pierce in Columbo, even though that's never going to happen. Murder. <laughs> Murder most foul. I really like the scene with Columbo when he goes to visit the the painter and the nude model is sitting there and he walks in and then he goes, nope, <laughs> like, he looks the opposite way. That was really funny how he kept meeting her gaze and then like the second that he like looks over her, he's like, nope, absolutely not. And then he starts looking the other way. It was super, super cute. I liked his interaction with the, the model there and how the model like keeps talking to him and he's just like, I just really want to get out of here. I really liked that interaction. It also reminded me of being in art school because I did graduate with an art degree. So another scene I really liked is when he was with What's Her Face from White Christmas. I know that actress's name. I just don't know why I can't think of it right now. I'm pretty sure that shooting Columbo details it. But I thought that scene with the landlady where he's asking her questions about Tracy's boyfriend and she and Columbo sits down with her and she, instead of like getting to the information that Columbo needs, she's like, oh, well, that's the picture I took there with uh, my nieces and nephews. And that's the picture that I took there. And I, it's just like a classic, like interacting with your grandmother kind of thing. I really like those moments that Columbo has with other characters and episodes because it really... I've said this before a million times, but not only does it endear you to him, it endears you to the characters that he interacts with. Like these characters don't have long moments with Columbo, but when they do have moments interacting with him, they're very, very memorable because they're just so silly. They're so human. It's just about him interacting with everyday people. And I think it's part of the reason why the show is so successful is because you have those little human interactions. The hands in the pockets at the end, I have never really paid attention to that, but he has his hands Columbo has his hands shoved in his pockets for that final scene as he goes around and he talks to each character. And I like that Dale panicked at the end of the episode. I like that he panicked when there was evidence against him. I think a lot of the killers at the end of these Columbo episodes end up resigning pretty quickly because they're like, oh, okay, well, you got me. Guess we're gonna go to jail now, but it's, it's refreshing to see a killer that's actually like, oh shit. Okay, now it is time for shooting Columbo. Oh, this is so interesting. For Suitable for Framing, they were considering multiple actors for the role of Dale Kingston, and one of them was Gene Barry. You know, I, I always wish that Gene Barry came back. He really made a super notable impression as being the first of the Columbo killers, and I would have liked to see him return, so that's cool that they considered him, but it's it's like kind of sad that they didn't get him. Not to say that Ross Martin didn't do a good job. It's just, uh, I would have liked to see Gene Barry come back. Okay, the script for Suitable for Framing came from Jackson Gillis, one of two freelancers who stuck around after the private screening of Ransom for a Dead Man. Highly skilled in plotting, Gillis introduced to the series the Act Two Switcheroo, a Perry Mason mainstay in which about halfway through the show, the audience is surprised to see that the motive intended victim or even murderer is not what or who they thought it was. The trick was doubly effective in Columbo because after the first 20 minutes, viewers assume that they knew everything about the crime. In Suitable for Framing, we are shocked to learn that Dale Kingston would not be inheriting his slain uncle's art collection and he knew it. So you did know? Of course I knew. His true scheme was to frame the actual heir, 
the uncle's ex-wife, so that the art would ultimately pass on to him. Gillis incorporated a second act switch in most of his future Columbos. I wonder what other Columbos he wrote. Yet Gillis's greatest strength was dreaming up ingenious clues, and years earlier he had thought up a humdinger that he was just waiting to work into the right project. What if the murderer was identified not by his own fingerprints, but the fingerprints of the detective? When the pilfered paintings surface, Kingston's prints are nowhere to be found, but they do bear Columbo's. If you touch... Yes, my fingerprints are on those paintings. Bill Link considered it the best clue the show ever had. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree. That's pretty freaking smart. Uh, Gillis' script's only flaw was that it ran about four minutes short. One fix was lengthening the scene in which Columbo questions the artist at his studio as a nude model poses in the background. In the original script, the model's only function was to pose as Columbo does his best to keep his eyes away. Instead, Columbo's embarrassment dominates the scene as he becomes flustered and intensely uncomfortable, particularly when the naked woman tries to interact with him. Hello. Are you an artist? No. I can come back another time. I also added late was a scene in which Columbo visits the gossipy landlady of Kingston's murdered accomplice slash girlfriend. For more than three minutes, the landlady, played by Mary Wicks, thank you, I didn't know her name, Mary Wicks, gives the detective the Columbo treatment, rambling and veering off on tangents as he tries to figure out how to cut the conversation short. The humorous additions were completely extraneous to the plot, is that how you say that? Extraneous to the plot, but proved to be highlights in one of the show's best ever episodes. So David Koenig thinks very highly of this episode as well. That's actually a really good way to put it, is that Columbo is given his own treatment by this landlady. <laughs> fun episode today! That was a lot of fun to watch! What did you guys think of this one? That ending is probably one of the best endings in the whole show. Now I'm just frustrated that Kelsey Grammer was never a killer on Columbo. And I know that seems like a weird thing to keep coming back to, but Frasier's also my favorite sitcom of all time. And Kelsey Grammer is such a phenomenal actor that I truly believe that had he ever been a Columbo killer, it would have been the most hammed up performance, but it would have been so perfect. I am appalled. What? Get out. Get out! I am wounded. Just a side tangent real quick. There is an amazing fan comic. I will try to find it and link it in the description below where Frasier and Niles supposedly kill Maris, Niles' wife, and then Columbo is like this old friend of Marty's and he comes in and he basically solves the crime. It's a really good fan comic. I read it a number of months ago. The way it's written, the dialogue in the comic is so spot on for the characters of Frasier and Niles and Columbo. Um, I will link it in the description below. But make sure to check that out. What did you guys think of this episode? What are some things that stood out to you? What did you most enjoy? I would be super interested to hear your thoughts. So please drop a comment, like this video, head on over to the community page and share your thoughts when I make a post about this episode. And I guess I will see you guys uh, next week when we watch Lady in Waiting. Thank you for checking out today's video. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're enjoying these Columbo reaction videos so you can catch them weekly with me. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you later.